All right, hello, Lafayette Funstival. Yeah. Um, okay, so hi, I'm David. I'm with the Ship of Fools. We are an improv troupe here on Purdue's campus. And we're going to get started. Um, to get the Ship of Fools up here, we need to summon them with a slow clap. And that slow clap's going to build until I call time out. And then everyone goes, huzzah. Can I get a practice huzzah? All right, on three. One, two, three. Huzzah! Mm, you can do better than that. I think on three again. Yeah? One, two, three. Huzzah! There we go. All right, so we're going to start the slow clap. Are we ready? To get things started, we're going to introduce ourselves. I am Mewtwo. Uh, Falafel. Chasha. Thanks. Mutz. And we are the Ship of Fools. We're going to get things started with a game called Two Person Story, so I'm going to need Gavin and Leah up here to start. Now, I would like to get the name yeah. of your favorite children's book. Catch us the one we can throw the book to sleep. All right. <laughs> Now I'm going to need the name of your favorite movie. Dark Dreams. Your the name of the story that uh, these performers are going to say one word at a time is going to be The Hungry Blazing Saddles. Take it away. Once upon a time, there was a saddle who was hungry. For a uh, bite of knowledge, this saddle went to a forest and found a big tree. <laughs> it looked at the tree and felt feelings of joy. <laughs> this saddle had found it's tree forever. The moral of the story is saddles cannot find good knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is one for the ages, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to need four people up here, so everyone else, uh, for a game called Clockwork. Now, the way this game works is that I'm going to be rotating these people at my whimsy left. Right. In that manner. So, uh, to get started, I'm going to need a word for them to base all their scenes off of. Each scene is Stay. the people up front. Stop. 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 Hammock. Stop. Hammock. Stop. Hammock. We're going to go with hammock. hammock. Oh. Well, that uh, well, just about does it. we got to... A hammock. You wanna you wanna climb in? I don't. Well, I'm gonna climb in. Whoa! <laughs> That's why I didn't want to. <laughs> you were wise to not climb into the hammock. You uh, you use screws over there. I did. But you use I don't know some kind of a knot over here. Yeah, I, I use a knot. It's a nice knot. Um, it's called the slip knot because it's really slippery to put on. But when you put oh yeah, there's the problem. Left. Hammock, catch me. Hammock, mm -hmm. I cannot trust you. You do not catch me. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of this insolence? Mm -hmm. Hammock, I've taught you how to speak. Mm -hmm. Hammock, yes, I did teach you how to speak. Mm -hmm. So I would encourage you to, uh, in three to five sentences, please explain yourself why you do not catch me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hammock! Left. Hammocky, do the dishes. I did the dishes yesterday, and I did the dishes the day before. Mom, I gotta go to middle school. <laughs> Mickey? Left. Ham! Ah, I got your ham. Uh, are you, uh, you seem a little ill. Ah, no, no. Don't worry about the ham. <coughs> The uh, hand is fine. Oh, oh, 
Bill, Bill, I've been buying from you for 20 years and yeah. you've never been this ill before. <coughs> Now it's I'm, not a problem. The ham is fine. Now I'm, the, I'm gonna eat this. Ma'am, have a cigarette. You need one. You're stressed out. You think I'm gonna take a cigarette from my own baby's mouth? Come on. You need your. You're, you're a growing boy. You need a. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Light up like a good boy. Now, that doesn't mean you get out of doing the dishes. Right. Hammock, I've owned you now for about six years, ever since I found you in that derelict Home Depot. <laughs> and I've got to say that I'm not impressed with the performance. You've gotten sloppy these past six years, and I think it's time for me to burn you. <laughs> Left! I don't know how you do it. Every dang time you get me to do the dishes, Mickey, you're going to be a lawyer someday. Because I have calculus homework, Mom. <laughs> Left. <laughs> all right, all right. Here is the pig. I'll show you. The pig is not sick. See? It is dead. You just gave me half of it. Well, yeah, and it's not sick. See? <laughs> <laughs> What a beautiful reflection of the human condition. <laughs> All right, so for the, our next game, we're going to need Leah, Gavin, and Becky up here. Why do I even sit down? For a game called Evil Twin. Okay. Now in the scene, Gavin is Becky's evil twin. So what's going to happen is that... Leah and Becky are going to be having a grand old time, and Becky's going to have a reason to leave, and then Gavin's going to come in and make things not so pleasant. Oh. And then Leah has no idea that there are twins, so dramatic irony will ensue. Can I get a suggestion for a location? Space. Narnia. Oh, a carnival. Oh, Pokemon Stadium. White simulator. Round city. All right, you're at a carnival. <clears throat> well, hello there, little child. Welcome to my booth. The man gave me this ticket. Oh, boy. Well, that ticket is good for one ball to throw at those pins over there. You ready to try it? Mm-hmm. All right, let's have your ticket. Okay. Sure. Yeah, it's a real ticket. Now, you take this ball and you throw it at those pins. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it was so close. I'll just knock a few down for you. There you go. See, see, you want a yo-yo. There you go, you want to try again? Oh, oh, I got, I got to get more balls. I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, do you want to knock down more? Well, you're going to have to throw your yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I'll need more tickets. Tickets. <laughs> yes, that's real! <laughs> now, throw your yo-yo. Will I get it back? Maybe. Oh, you knocked down half the bins. That means you get... Half a stuffed animal! <laughs> Isn't the carnival fun? <laughs> yeah, I've got to go dispose of this in the fire. I know how that works. Okay. 
Steady. Stay with me. Oh, mask. Oh, oh no. I forgot the little the little heart that you put in at the build a bear workshop. I'm gonna go get one. Is that a leg? Score! <laughs> See! <laughs> Want some? We have a leg up on that one. Yeah. The joke oh, concept. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna need Leah, Becky, and Jeremy up here for a game called Man Up. Yeah, do I even sit down? All right, this is a game called Man Up. In it, Jeremy and Leah and Becky are going to be doing a scene in which they may need varied levels of manliness, in which I will tell one or all of them to man it up. In which case, they will have to get progressively more manlier until I am satisfied. Yes, that might be a euphemism. <laughs> Alright, so can I get a suggestion for a relationship between these two? Stay. Stay. <laughs> what? Batman and Robin. Snoop Dogg and his posse. Professional wrestler and promoter. I like that one. You're going to go with professional wrestler and promoter. Take it away. Now, Glenda, you're a diva. I put stickers on my folder, so everybody knows that this one's mine now. God, Got all Glenda. my registration papers filled out. You are a diva. I'm in Hannah. I'm in Andy in here, and I told you a thing or two about wrestling. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm here and there. Leah, man up. How the hell do you expect that we should enter this competition with all those papers? I'll tell you what, Nance, and you're gonna meticulously fill these out. The forgery. That's what I said. And I'm not gonna know another thing. That is and the house. notary stamp those. And then, then? Yeah, you bet your ass I did. Uh. Hmm. Now I'm gonna have to call in another notary. Oh. Uh, 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 a well, I did it. I I got here with the you with this human stone. Oh Thank you, man up. Oh my god. <laughs> You're him. He's you. I. We are here, and here we are. Uh, she's a, the diva. Mm, you talked to her. Oh my god. It's the human rat. Oh what? my god. Am I supposed to do something about this? Yeah, you sign up. You sign her chest. Thank you, man. Up. He's <laughs> my chest. I only have a quill pen, so I can take it. Leah, man up. Right here. Oh. Ow! Thank you, man. Up. Oh. Yeah, now that's quill pen signature. <laughs> now you pay. No, no, that's Jeremy, man up. No ass for fifty dollars. <laughs> Fifty dollars for the quill signature on her chest. Fifty. Well, I guess I can. Thank you, Um, I think you owe me money <sighs> for the privilege of signing my chest. Look at it. I think I ain't got no money, so. See, man up. I'm gonna cut off your ear. <laughs> <laughs> Where's those papers? I'm gonna cut off my own ear. <laughs> See. <laughs> This next game is called Space Jump, and it's for everybody up here. Even me. No. So, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, enter the scene one at a time, starting with two, and it's going to be a completely new scene. <gasps> Alright, so can I get a suggestion, just a word? Sky brown. Uh -huh. Tomato. Kayaking. Laser. Impotence. Tomato. Tomatoes. Tomato? Um, I would love one. You see, Janine, I've decided I'm just going to make my act for the talent show that people throw tomatoes at me so that this year, when they throw tomatoes at me, 
it will be my choice. I'm going to stop you right there. This is perfect. <laughs> because my entry for the science fair this year is a tomato dispenser. <gasps> we can work together. And then when I have to work on a project with someone, it won't be me doing all the work. I hey. mean, <laughs> work. Oh, I meant... Freeze! Is that how you hold your graduated cylinder? <laughs> See? Hits your eye like a big pizza pie. That's a clay. I'm doing it. Oh, um. You're making the clay. Oh, it's so much fun. Freeze. Susan, why don't you have a human coat? Because I I could only afford this. I could only afford this deer coat. Well, at least you're better than her. It doesn't have any coat. <laughs> Cold, okay? Really? Yeah? What's your secret? <laughs> Lying? Don't worry. We'll keep you warm. We'll keep you warm. We'll keep you warm. We'll keep you warm. Okay. Warm. <laughs> is that, is, can we walk? Yeah. Hey. Let's find out. This is ridiculous. I have another coat. I'm just gonna go get it. Okay. Okay. Well, then I'll just put this one. You can put that on my human coat. Please. Oh, I didn't even know you could make hats out of clay. Huh. I'm super proud of it, though. Yeah. You have graduated to the next level. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, uh, hey, my arm is like in the thing. <laughs> that sounds Can like I... a you issue. Well, I, it's in the hat. <laughs> Still not getting where I come in to this issue. Well, I know exactly where my arm is in the hat, and that's kind of an issue. Uh, it is an issue, because I can't really see over your hand being stuck there. Well, I can't really move with my hand in uh, your plate. All I'm hearing is blah, 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 meow. and uh... Meow, meow, meow. Ah. Meow, meow, meow. Humans are so meow, meow, meow. Okay, so well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take this clay cap, because it needs to be baked. In a 2,000 degree oven. Okay, we'll be right back because I'm on it. Okay, it'll be hard. <laughs> yeah, I, did you, you spill really this? Adopted the chem lab. I was born in it. <laughs> when can I die? I'm molded by it. I want to die. I didn't see any girls in the chemistry department until I was already a man. <laughs> by then, it was nothing but blinding. <laughs> Give her the fumes. Can't fuse them. No. <laughs> it didn't work. They just threw pears at me. <laughs> Let's look at the bright side. Optimism, right? What's at least that? they're Bartlett pears. Ah. See. <laughs> and that's Space Jump. Yeah. So again, I'm gonna need everybody up here for a game called Dead Pirates. In this scene, everybody up here, except for yours truly, will die at some point during this scene. Which means that, except for one person, <laughs> except for one person, that will have to move everyone else around in character because the show must go on. Can I get a suggestion for a profession? Lumberjack. <laughs> I, I, uh, what? I want to go home. Oh. Son. Oh. Let me tell you something about the woods. They are your home. 
Long before the cities and all that other stuff. But we have got a here. we have a room in the La Quinta, and they're gonna they're gonna charge us a service charge. Do you think stay in it. the La Quinta had anything on the woods? I think the woods were here well, first. I know you're learning because you used to pronounce it La Quinta, so uh, we're bonding. You're listening to me finally. It's La Quinta, Dad. Son, La Quinta. Is an excellent place and an excellent establishment yeah, for a man, but you were doing so well, Dan. The woods, <laughs> the woods are where a man learns about his instincts, and that's why I'm gonna send you out to fight the wolves. Hello, hello. Have you seen my troop around here anywhere? We were hiking, and got lost. Oh, yeah. You see, there's your chance to be a man. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Do you want to be a Boy Scout? Got an extra uniform in my pack. That'd be... No. No. That'd be pretty cool. You're a Man Scout! Do you have any Man Scout outfits? I don't. Oh, look! Berries! I'm pretty sure those aren't poisonous. Ah! 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 Berries! 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 <laughs> For all the Boy Scouts! Uh, but, uh... Do you have any like man scouts that are joining you? I, 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 Son, my dad. There aren't. There is no place for man scout. Let me tell you something. Yes, tell me something too. Good kind lumberjack of the woods. Uh, excuse me. So, excuse me, guys. Uh, what? Um, what? I'm busy trying to teach my son a valuable lesson uh, in the woods. I own these woods. Oh. So I'm going to have to ask you guys to go ahead and... Mrs. LaQuinta, it's an honor yeah. to meet you. <laughs> you are? Uh, I'm just, I'm just nobody important. I just, uh, my dad is, uh, he's, uh, he's a little, a little what? Uh, a little high strung, you know how that goes. Oh yes, I do know how high strung men can be. That's why I much prefer man scouts. You, you prefer man scouts? Oh, yes of course. Really? Yes, I do. Like that one over there eating those delicious berries. Are you? No, not not him. <laughs> me? Oh goodness gracious me! Happy day! Finally finding a lovely lady in the woods. Come here. Come give me the kisses. <laughs> oh, don't play hard to get. <laughs> Just come here. I will kiss your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, for this game, we're gonna need Jeremy to get out. Goodbye! Bye! Bye now! And I'm gonna need Becky and Gavin to come up here. It's hot in here! It's hot in here! Sounds like Three. And in it, Jeremy will be guessing. Uh, some activities and some slightly warped activities that these two will convey with mind and gibberish, gibberish in three minutes. So, uh, let me get an example of something you want to do before you graduate college. Stay. <laughs> let me get a bird. Skydive. Run a marathon. Be a stay. Quick dive. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do running a marathon. All right, but instead of like the number tag that uh, that the runners have, what do they have like plastered on them? Licorice. Oh, oh, oh. Jellyfish. Uh, jellyfish. <laughs> and instead of the finish line, what are they? What are they crossing? What's what's? Laser. We're gonna go with guavas, or just instead of fruit, uh, the finish line. Or how about a fruit salad of guavas? If they get, if he gets guava, then bonus points him. But fruit salad. All right. Uh, for our second activity, let's get something that you do on a weekly basis. Sleep. Tell me. Laundry. Homework. Nothing. Dry. <laughs> Make a waffle. But instead of the waffle iron, 
what is it? What is it? Alright, you're making a waffle in a skunk instead of the waffle iron. And instead of like syrup or like the toppings, what are they putting on the waffle? My Let's get some incredible. Back for the audience. <laughs> All right, so for our third activity, let's get a suggestion for something from this part of the audience for something that you wouldn't normally do. <laughs> Wow. Or, uh, <laughs> Alright, but instead of the horses that they ride in polo, uh, what are they riding? The horses! The horses. The horses. Shopping, cards. Right, shopping cards! Alright, you're riding shopping cards instead of <laughs> horses. And instead of the ball, um, what are they tossing around? Encyclopedia oh, the They toss it around the Encyclopedia of Britannica. Okay. All right. So to review, we are running a marathon, but instead of the like tag that they put here, it's jellyfish, and instead of the finish line, it's fruit salad, preferably guavas. And next, we're going to be making a waffle, but instead of waffle iron, it's a skunk, and instead of having syrup on top, we would have gravel. And we're playing polo, but instead of horses, it's shopping carts, and instead of the ball, it's the Encyclopedia Britannica. Alright, so these two are going to convey that to Jeremy within three minutes, hopefully, using only Mime and Jimmer. So let's get Jeremy back in here with a call of thingies, thingies, thingies on three. One, two, three. Thingies, thingies, thingies! thingies. 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 Instead of the like uh, thing that's got the number on it, it is a jellyfish. Yay! And instead of the crossing the finish line, you are crossing a fruit medley. Yay! Yeah. Ah, uh, 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 it is. Please show me again. Uh, uh, oh, 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 a skunk. Yes. yes. And instead of the uh, batter itself, or yes. instead of the no. apparatus that makes out the batter. Uh, 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 oh, it's a syrup. Uh, yeah. It is. Uh, gold digging for gold. Uh, no, prospecting. Uh, 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 u
Ah, uh, bring up rocks. Ah, uh, 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 gems. Uh, uh, Give it to me. Uh, it's gravel. Uh, gravel. Uh, 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 printing press with letters from a printer. Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 hmm. <laughs> uh, a pamphlet. Uh, 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 a book. Uh, an old book. Uh, a Bible. Uh, what is it? It's like a video for Jada Cup. Oh! That was my next guess. Yeah. <laughs> 3.17 was the time, so... Yeah. That's why this game is called Fourth. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for our last game, we are going to play a game called Fake or Die. Da, da, da! Yes. What's going to happen is that I'm going to not sexually drill these four people to name things that don't exist in the categories given to me by you. So, for example, if I said colors and you said purple, you're good. But if you said orange, you're dead. Yeah. So, can I get a suggestion for a category? Sports teams. The San Francisco 89ers. The Michigan Eels. The New York Bricks. The New York Crankies. Extra Kicks. Feral Rednecks. The Chicago Love. The Toretti Treads. Wisconsin Cheese Haters. <laughs> the Fiscal Responsibility. The Tennis 16. San Francisco Slowpokes. The Never Winners. <laughs> the Swimming Otters. I pulled the fire alarm. <laughs> Seven. To join this team, you have to kill your grandma. Good game, bro. I don't like my team. <laughs> Wisconsin Willies. The Alaska Tangerines. Obama Unchained. <laughs> Durango renamed. What's <laughs> the Tommy Pole Dancers? Glue Factory 2.0. <laughs> no, you're dead. Ah! <laughs> All right, so I also heard game shows. So we're going to go with game shows. See you next Tuesday! Is it Lillian? Lose all of your money! Do you have two ears? Clap and then slap! <laughs> You're dead! <laughs> Alright, let's get another suggestion. Failed sitcom pilots! Failed sitcom pilots. Sniff this! Kicking the dog! Brushing my teeth! Why I hate my mother! <laughs> Let's pluck our eyebrows. Forms I signed. Two broke bases. My seventh marriage. I eat my parents. <laughs> hey there, blue eyes. Hey there, eyebrows. Swing and a miss. Lips of an angel. Mm. I like the candy. <laughs> Come on, Fox, just cancel me. Joss Whedon's new show on Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! 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 <laughs> All right, we have been the Ship of Fools. If you want to know more about us, you can visit our website at www.purdueimprov.com. Or you can visit us, visit us on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, our tag is Purdue Fools. 
Uh, and we host Open Forum every Friday in Bearing 2280. And on Saturdays, we host workshops. So if you want to come and improve your improv, come to Open Forum for a more performance-like space, or come to workshop for a more intimate for learning experience. Uh, thank you very much. We have been the Ship of Fools. Slow clap. Thank you very much, everybody. Yay! Yay!